Hello, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, we are going to take a look at, at Unity's, uh, I guess right now, Unit, uh, Unity uh, Unite 22, 2022 is going on right now. Uh, I guess it's like basically like Epic's uh, Unreal Fest, which was a week or two ago. But I don't really follow Unity, but I thought I would we would take a look at this demo that they released. It's called enemies. And I believe it was, they either showed it last year at their unite event or earlier this year or something like that. So we're going to take a look at this. I tried to run this earlier, but because my petite, but because my computer is a potato, I'm running a one six, six, six TI 166600 TI. And, um, it's actually, a, it's actually a pretty good graphics card, even though it's old, but yeah, what we'll see is, uh, I had a problem the first time running it and stupid me. I should have read this first to read me first. Um, if you're running, running a potato like me, what you want to do is you want to run it from the bat instead of, let's see the, uh, exe file. So what you want to do is click this bat and run it. Now this is currently available to download from unity.com slash enemies. And as you can see the, the quality, I had to put the quality down because it was chugging and you're going to see it. You're going to see it chug even more, but let's see if unity can uh, steal us away from unreal. As you can see, the frame rate is just terrible. I'm running a 4k monitor. So that's not helping. <laughs> That's not helping. And I actually had to fiddle around. If you're having issues, you might want to fiddle around with the config files. I had to turn basically a ton of things off. I have in my head, even though launching it, has ever known. launching it from the, uh, that uh, low quality settings bat file. You have in your heart everything anyone has ever felt. You know, even at this low quality, it's still, How I mean, it's still quite amazing. It's given only to those. The skin looks really well. You pick it up. And you can kind of pause at any time. Um, now, earlier on, when I tried to um, adjust these settings, the thing, it just crashed. <laughs> it, just, it, it just crashed. See? Gotta, all you have to do is just hit that escape button. And I think that's it. Yeah, that was it. Um, so... You guys, let me know what you think. Um, even though at this low quality, um, I, th I still think it's pretty impressive. I think it's about um, eight gigabytes or something like that. But even though the, uh, what is it called? The... The Unreal, I forgot what it's called. The Unreal, their version. Hum, meta, oh, I think it's called, I, I, I think it's MetaHumans. That's impressive, but you know, just looking at, just looking at the, um, not from here, it looks, it looks potato from here, but just looking at the skin, really impressive not right now but as we get closer the skin shaders and stuff like that i have in my head 
have in my head everything that anyone has ever known. But the cinematics in here are really impressive. Makes me want to actually. You have Let's go through these settings real quick and then uh, we'll call it a day as far as this video. Now, as far as the settings, as you can see, there's uh, there's presets and you can actually go into the uh, actual um, JSON files and uh, adjust some stuff. That's what I did to actually get this to actually work. I had to, even though with the low quality preset settings, it it, it just wasn't working. It just wasn't working well. So. Next is display mode, which is full screen, windowed, resolutions, upscale mode, DLSS, VSync, shadows, reflections, ambient occlusion, lighting quality, material quality, texture size, post processing, hair quality, and show frames per second. Everything anyone has ever felt. Looks impressive to me. Power. You guys, let me know what you think. Download it for yourself. It's See if you're running a potato like me. Um, let me know if you're having the same issues and stuff like that as I am. Take care.